Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. And right now I want to talk to you about something I just discovered about myself. My astrological chart, I feel a sense of relief. Um, I'm 45 years old right now. It's December 31st, 2013. And I have a renewed sense of my life's purpose and I feel more in alignment with my soul because I recently discovered that I have my North Node, astrologically speaking, my North Node in Aries and my South Node in Libra. Um, I, a friend of mine turned me on to this book, um, Astrology for the Soul, uh, by Jane Spiller, I guess. And... I I found out because I, I, okay, I did a public access TV show in Seattle called Goddess Kring for 15 years every week. And when I first started doing it, because I'm kind of a shy person, I've been kind of shy my whole life, but kind of wanted to go on stage and kind of had like, my best childhood memories are of me doing little performance things here and there and being on the tennis team. And I always like being in front of people and sort of performing in a way, but I've always been kind of shy and afraid to do it. And then I, after 15 years of doing my public access TV show called Goddess Kring in Seattle, I danced around nude, I had body pain, I did like monologues like I'm doing right now for many years. Um, really was brave and spilled my guts. And I thought that was great, but then I developed like a self-conscious judgment about it. And I thought, oh, I'm a narcissist. Oh, I'm blah, blah, blah. And then I got hate mail, you know, from people that didn't uh, like me. And But I also got a lot of fan mail. So whatever you think about yourself gets mirrored back to you. And my audience was mirroring back to me, sometimes love, sometimes hate. And basically to make a long story short, your north node and your astrological chart is what you're supposed to, your life's destiny, what you're supposed to have the courage to step into, the role of the Aries for me. And what the, the south node, which is Libra for me, is about what I've done in past lives or what I've done in my past. And that's what I need to let go of and go ahead and honor and appreciate that I have the, the good traits of a Libra, which is being cooperative um, being, helping other people, being more behind the scenes, being helpful, losing yourself in others, being enmeshed, being kind of codependent in a certain way and really close to others and just more of a behind the scenes person helping others. And the Aries is sort of the opposite. It's sort of like being more into yourself, being selfish, but in a good way, like being on stage, being a leader, being basically my life's purpose is to be courageous and to be a visionary thinker, to be a leader, to be a unique person that has the guts to speak their mind, and then people can take it or leave it. So what I'm supposed to do in this lifetime is is be in, learn to be independent of the opinion of others. Because it's true, I worry a lot what other people think of me. And I think my job is to be nice all the time, sometimes. And th this book is saying to let go of that. So I, I, I urge you to look up what yours is. What is your, all you need is your birthday, not your time, just your, your year and date of birth. And you look it up and you find your north node. Because, you know, my sun is Scorpio, my moon is Capricorn, my rising is Taurus, my Mars is in Virgo, Virgo Mercury in Libra, Venus in Sagittarius. I know all that stuff. But the north node, south node, is the north is your destiny and your purpose in this life, and the south is what you need to let go of and not fall into, you know, being stuck in the role. So I need to let go of the role of the Libra, being the peaceful, behind-the-scenes helper, and step into the more courageous leader and not, not, not wait for other people to give me permission. So that's kind of why I did my Goddess Crank show. I was trying to step into that without knowing it. I'm trying to become my own hero and inspire others. And so I just feel like the guilt and shame is melting away, along with melting fat away because I went gluten-free and I'm exercising a lot and I'm getting real fit and feeling great. Um, but it's like, wow, it's like stepping into my personal power and stop worrying about whether I'm narcissistic or not, and just be self-indulgent, be self-centered, 
do my thing to my the best, you know, share my talent to the best of my abilities with my, my, my intelligence, my articulation when I speak. I love recording my voice. I've been doing some music lately. I talk with my hands a lot. It's like I like to talk with my hands. I've done a little bit of theater. I just, I'm sort of an introverted extrovert and I need to step into that and just stop waiting for permission from others and just follow my own instinct and put it out there and allow the synchronicity to come and go and whatever and just flow with it and 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 stop worrying about what other people think and stop thinking oh i'm so self-centered you know what to be selfish in a good way will serve the world more than if i'm just the nice polite helper person that's compromising all the time so there it is so i'm kind of a loner but then again i'm here i'm sharing with you so thanks for watching. Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. See you next time. Wow. Follow your bliss. Seal it with a kiss. Mwah.